Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel, Reef and Rios. Today, I'm doing a proper update on the 65 Reef, and some things have changed for the 13, so I'll just combine it all into one video for today. Well, if you didn't see my last video, which is my most recent video, I did a quick little, like, two-minute video just to show, well, I was bored and needed to post something, uh, I was inactive for two weeks. Last week I went to a military camp and just didn't have time to make any videos. But anyways, well, from the last update video, a lot has changed. As you can see, it's not very bottom no more. It actually has sand. It's uh, the Indo-Pacific sand, I used 60 pounds of it, 65 gallon tank, a pound per gallon. That's all the ratios I've been using ever since I was in the hobby. That's what it's always been recommended. Aquascape stayed the same. Nothing really changed. Have a piece, um, little some pieces of rubble rock here and there. I threw in from my 13 just to add some more biological filtration. Other than the marine pier that's in the sump. Um, well, let's start with up top first. Um, I got a flipper from Dr. Foxerton Smith. My dad had a coupon, so he just went ahead and bought me it. I needed it anyway for my 13 because we were kind of getting annoyed with each other sharing the scraper we have. So at least I have that now. Um, if you didn't already see, I have a little green chromis in here. He's had this chromis for about a few months for sure. Um, I bought him when I had my eel and my panther grouper, my 13 just as a different fish other than two predators I couldn't put anything much much else in there um, so he's been with me for a while now he's hopped back and forth from almost every single tank except for the 45 it's a pain catching a fish from a big tank I don't know how the fish store guys do it it's so hard for me well I just you know, practice more I guess um, I think what else also well now I'm running the light full time now and a sump um, oh it's a pretty good shot of him go And the sump, let's start over here. Uh, this is new. This came along with my sand. Then do a proper um, this update on it. It's an Aquamax FRSE Hang On Media Reactor. It can do carbon, GFO, and bio pellets. It can handle all different medias. I'm going to run carbon in it. Which I need to get some. Oh, I was at the fish store today. I forgot to buy some. So I need to get some of that. Um, how my skimmer going? Mm, that's not really much skimmate in the cup. It's just water for me dialing it in. There's not that much waste going on in this tank. So that's why it's not really bubbling over. Um, so, I mean, with the reactor, the input, the output, I just have the output going into uh, between uh, those two baffles. So, if any carbon dust ends up making its way out, the photophos will catch it. And that's just actu uh, extra biological, not biological, mechanical uh, filtration. Also, I got an ATO. There's the sensor, 
class was dirty, sorry about that. And there is where the water comes up, a little plastic vinyl tube. Um, I'd like to make a note, if my phone drops in the water, it's totally fine, it's in a waterproof case. So technically I can do some like, in the tank shots with my phone with all my fish and stuff once I get them. Um, everything else is good. Um, I have the return pump running at 60%, but that's always good. Better have, you, it's better off if you have the gate valve are more open so you can tweak it more, which means you gotta offset it since you're opening it more, you gotta push more water through. So this is where my sump height is at. It's about three inches, three, four inches, something like that. Pretty good, I would say. And I do need to change out the filter suck. It's been on there since day one. Now, to the side here, I had where I noted all, what all my uh, stuff is when I, when I was cycling it. I think the cycle's done. Yes, I do know chromises are hardy fish and they could survive and they can throw them in when the tank is not cycled at all but my stuff was checked out i dosed the tank with ammonia a few times while my well, while i was out my dad dosed it for me so and it ate up it ate up everything and even that nitrates were pretty low i think it's because of the marine pure balls they have denitrification and nitrification abilities which basically means they eat up the nitrites and the nitrates. I don't know about much the nitrates, but I guess it's working because that's what they've been doing. And my little shelf piece I have in there for extra biological filtration. Um, heaters are good. Thanks. That that's about it for this tank. For the 65. So, oh, that's what I need to do some updates on the 13. So, uh, since the last update video, I really don't remember what I particularly had in this tank. Oh, man. My camera is smudgy one sec. There we go, that's better. Well, I got a pair of clowns from FJW Aquariums. <laughs> Pretty cool pair. They were hosting my gone up for them, but I guess not anymore since I moved it. I moved the power head to because I wanted some more variety of flow. That hammer seems to kind of like it. The SPS are loving it. Birds Nest are at least. The Ghani, I guess it's liking it all right. And the clam seems to enjoy it as well. Now what's weird is you see there, my anemone is attached to my clam. Now, I have no clue if that's all right or not. It's... Um, yeah. Also, uh, this hammer. You know, I don't know what's wrong with this hammer. It's been... My dad bought it in April, so puts it at around two, three months. It's been in our systems. He's had it primarily in his 45, but it just wasn't opening up. I was like, well, you know, I got a hammer in my tank. It's pretty opened up. And his other coils are doing just fine. I mean, his other, he has another hammer in there, a triple tipped ham hammer, and it's ridiculous. I mean, it looks giant. It, it is giant. 
but this one it doesn't want to o open up not even in my tank where I have SPS in there nor his tank so I'm trying to get my dad to sell it to an experienced hobbyist so if you're in Houston Texas area and would like to buy a two head hammer contact me or let me know in the comment section if you would like it honestly I think our best best to sell it and we can go on from there and also if you are in the Houston Texas area this clam is for sale I don't know why it's so dark it's a crochia clam and then we need not included unless you want to pay extra sorry I cannot ship if you want it you're gonna have to pay for the shipping because I, I I can't I don't know how to ship livestock so yeah he's for sale I currently have um, I, I sent it to a few people already but they I don't know they haven't responded so I'm just gonna put it on YouTube hey if you want it let me know preferably if you're in the Houston area uh, if you're out of state or somewhere else in Texas if you're somewhere else in Texas you can always drive down and for it but honestly it won't be worth and if you're out of state I wouldn't even bother unless you wanted to pay shipping for it and it, it, it'll be expensive just for this one thing so local pickup only um and that's there we go. So sorry about that. I don't know why I was being such a blur bag. This stupid iPhone 7. I think it was just my case. Got all smudgy. But yeah, that will do it for this update. Just wanted to do a proper update on all the new things I got for my 65. Oh, almost forgot. Back to the 65. So real quick wanted to explain my stock list plans for this tank so at first I was gonna do an SPS reef tank full on SPS but then somebody um, told me that you don't have a strong enough light for have a, like a mixed reef with SPS LPS all those good stuff they said that light in your tank only be good for softies and I was like, well, shoot. To buy another Kessel, that's $400 plus the good snake and controller I have. But that's another $400. $435. dollars $435 I do not have and my dad is not willing to buy right now for me. So until probably Christmas time, it will be a Fowler system. If not, it will have some corals in there, but low light corals that I know that will survive not having strong lighting. So it means I can't put any SVS. If I were to put SVS, they would go at the very top there and on that shelf piece there. It's really bright. On camera, it doesn't seem that bright, but it really is. But as far as fish go, the chroma sensor is in there temporarily. He will stay in there if I cannot catch him in the next two weeks when I get new fish. Uh, I'll just tell you the fish. I was going to give you a surprise, but go ahead and tell you. I told you the last video anyways. So for sure, a male blue jaw trigger fish will be going in here. And, and definitely an a dwarf angel fish don't know what yet I'm thinking between a flame angel a multicolor angel and a bicolor just because they're so dang cheap <laughs> but those are one of those three angel fish I don't want no more than just one angel, one angel fish and I'm definitely going to have a fox face I really want a fox face for some reason now First, I didn't like fox faces because they have a venomous spine and all. But now I really do want a fox face. Um, as far as other fish, the Bangai Cardinal fish will be going into this tank as well. So I'll leave with the second fish in here. 
So in the next week, I'll put him in there to make sure that Tank can handle two fish, at least. Um, those clowns will end up going in here eventually. But eventually, I mean, they'll be going in there once I find an anemone. Now, yes, I do have one, but... It's just a rose bubble tip anemone. No fun in that. I want an exotic bubble tip anemone, so like an inferno or something with a lot of orange and red to it. I think it'll look amazing. I know at FJW, at F, yeah, my bit, ugh. At FJW, they do have some amazing looking anemones. And I'm pretty sure some hobbyists in the Houston area have some anemones. I just got to look for them. Um, other fish. Also a dragon wrasse. Since I'm going to go with a feller for the next six months, I'm thinking a dragon wrasse will be pretty cool. I don't know. That That's on the maybe list. That's like really cool but on the maybe list oh and i'm for sure having a purple tang i'm getting a purple tang for my birthday in august so two months actually exactly two months well one month and 28 days is my birthday so a month and 28 days to make sure this thing is all ready for a tang that light is going to have to be on here 24-7, one twenty four seven, but a good strong amount of time, a good long amount of time, my bad, to grow some algae for, for the tank to eat. But those are my plants currently as far as this tank. I may, may do an office escape change. I don't know. I think I'm going to leave it like this because it is pretty cool looking. Uh, I'm going to change, mess around with the flow with the gyre right now. I have it at constant at 20%. It's not that I'm... I have to put it lower because of the noise level. So that's that. Um, <clears throat> oh, well, last thing, you know, I've been everywhere, but there's the little reservoir I have for my ATO. That's the last thing I'll show you. It's just off to the side, out of the sight. It's, wow, I just confused the crap out myself. It's to the side, out of sight. There we go. Okay. Well, that's it. Sorry for this video being 18 minutes long. But, anyways, thank you. Make sure you subscribe. And go ahead and like and leave a positive comment if you can. Uh, subscribe for more videos. Upcoming, we'll be doing. A review on the max spec gyre on the skimmer and on the reactor once i have carbon in the reactor and stuff and we'll be doing uh also i have planned a water how i do my water change on my 13 and I'll also try to record the first water change on the 65 and that's it for now thank you guys for watching again happy reefing